you look around and you see the suffering and you say, fine, you know, I can understand this, but I can't understand that one. Why do they have to keep on going through this? What's the point of these children suffering? You go back to the fundamental principle. Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. When the angels asked Allah, أَتَجْعَلُ فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُ فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الدِّمَاءِ Ya Allah, we've already seen what happens when fallible beings are given the earth. Are you going to go ahead and create a human race now? Where they will spread corruption and they will kill one another and spill blood? SubhanAllah, the angels didn't even see Adam yet. They knew it. That fallible creatures will wreak destruction and havoc when they have power. They knew it. They didn't wait for a quote that absolute power absolutely corrupts. They knew it. And what was Allah's answer? Inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun. I know what you don't know. Allah could walk them through perhaps one or two people and show them how each and every single thing that happened to them, that there was a wisdom for it. But at the end of the day, sometimes things are not going to make sense even to the malaika, even to the angels. When you establish that foundation, inni a'lamu ma la ta'lamun, who judges to what extent someone should suffer? Who knows the present and future implications of suffering in an individual or community or country's lives? Who knows? Who can actually dissect all of that? Who can trace all of that and experiment on each person and derive the positives and the implications and how it's affected this and how it's affected that, that person and that situation and what it will do in the future? Who knows all of that? Nobody. So if you can come to the terms that I can't understand when something small happens to me, relatively small that I interpret as a hardship happens to me, I can't understand that but I trust Allah's wisdom. Then why can't I trust Allah's wisdom when something major happens that I don't understand? What's, what are the variables? What are the parameters that you're going to, to, to accept? Was it not an issue in Palestine? It wasn't an issue in the Central African Republic, the Rwandan genocide, Bosnia, none of that was an issue, the Holocaust, that was but this one's an issue? You have to establish a foundation. And that foundation is, Allah knows what I don't know. And I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with that. I'm assured with that. But I do know one thing. Allah is perfect. I'm not. And the world is not perfect. But Allah has given me as an imperfect being the power to change a lot of the imperfection around me. That Allah has also put me as an agent of change to where I can do something about some of the stuff that's around me. So maybe I can't save every single child. And maybe I can't reason why each and every single person is going through what they're going through. But I do know that there are things that Allah has given me that I could change that I didn't change. And that I can change. And subhanAllah, by and large, evil exists in the world when it's allowed to exist. Corruption exists in the world when people who claim to not be corrupt don't do anything about it. So that's where we put ourselves. And subhanAllah, there's a powerful quote where a man once said that I wanted to ask God why he allows oppression and evil and suffering and poverty in the world. But I was afraid he might ask me the same question. You will not ask Allah about his plan. You will not ask Allah about his judgment. Nor will you project your failures as humanity on Allah or your failures as an ummah on Allah or my failures as a Muslim or a human being on Allah. That's not my place. I can do what I can do. And I can be assured that the rest is within his ultimate plan. And that nothing, no transgression in this world, no oppression will go unchecked. Wallahi, each and every single one of these dictators, each and every single one of these oppressors will pay the price for their oppression. No doubt about it. The UN is not God. The US is certainly not God. They're not going to call anybody into account, but Allah will. And if you don't have that tawakkul and that trust, then that's going to shake your faith. And I have full trust in Allah. 
But Allah will do away with their pain in a way that they will not even know that they ever experienced pain. The zalim, the oppressor, will not forget his zulm. The oppressed will forget what they've been through. And trust me, on the Day of Judgment, as the Prophet ﷺ says, when the people who were tested severely by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are being given their rewards by Allah, dipped into Jannah, where the Prophet ﷺ said they would forget any hardship they ever faced in life, those of us, Ahlul Afiyah, would see Ahlul Bala, the people who were generally pardoned, who lived easy lives, would see those people. And they would wish that they could cut their skins so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could reward them the way that He's rewarding the others. Download our mobile applications or register on our official website to get access to exclusive content. Links given in description of video.